Okay, what we're seeing here, um, this very lovely lady, who happens to be a naturopath, um, came in and she's got, she has uh, severed the tendons, nerves, I mean everything down here in, in the ulnar branch. So her hand was supposed to end up like a claw. Um, interestingly, as we start uh, working with her, we find that she's got a retained primitive reflex, the rooting reflex on that right side, as well as the palmer grasp reflex on that left hand. Both of those making it hard for her to get complete function. So we're working now to downregulate the uh, the rooting reflex on that uh, left side. And also we've done a lot of scraping with the uh, entire left hand arm and uh, working that whole side. Tell us what you were able to do that you haven't been able to do for two years after we did that. I've been able to move my fingers side to side. That's kind of cool, isn't it? It is. It's still really awkward, but I yeah. there's starting to be some movement in it that I've never had. You want to show them your hand real quick? So prior to this, any side movement is not there at all. And I'm starting to get, to, it's only been a few minutes, but I'm starting to get some, even right here. Getting the abduction and adduction of those fingers is quite remarkable. So this has been good, but this is not. But, but I've not had that at all. But what a what a neat thing. Come and look at some of her scarring. We actually did a little bit of uh, scar and adhesion work on her, just using a uh, piece of, of uh, um, what do you call the shelf liner mm -hmm. to help grab it. We just kind of yank it in all directions. But loosening up that uh, tissue as well as hitting a bunch of trigger points and uh, already we're seeing that wake up. But interestingly, if you look at the side of her face, the um, especially down from the corner of the left side of her mouth, she has a little bit of a crease there. That popped up after the injury. Um, but this is so cool to see the primitive reflex pop in there. And she'll be able to change that over just a short period of time by, by knowing that it's an issue. And this follows a lot of the work of Dr. Robert, Robert Malilo with the, uh, the disconnected hemispheres. And oftentimes an injury causes a return or a regression to some of those primitive reflexes. And to improve function, we just get those, those primitive reflexes to start behaving better.